welcome Libra. This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 18th going to the 24th of January. I'm going to go straight into your channeled messages and then we'll go into your tarot. So the first thing I want to say for my air signs is that there is a change of direction on the, hori on the horizon when it comes down to this week. Um, this actually feels like a very positive thing. Now you may not see it at first. You may feel like, why is the universe going against me when I'm trying to head forward? It feels like I'm being pushed back. It's because you're supposed to go a different way. Um, I can speak actually for some of you, I don't know why I'm getting this like directly in your reading, but for some of you, I don't know if you guys struggle with things like depression. One thing I have to say when it comes down to things like that is, in my experience, when I was depressed, when I was, uh, you know, feeling really, really out of sorts and felt like the universe was against me was because I was heading down a route that just wasn't for me. Um, I was heading down a route that I thought was right, but I actually was wrong. And, and the moment that I actually changed and went with the wind and trusted that gut instinct that was making me unhappy was the moment that my depression and all that negative thoughts actually went and changed. So uh, one thing I actually have to say for you guys, if you're struggling with that, that maybe changing the things around you is really going to help you out. Um, moving forward but this change might actually help you with your own mental stability and also your mindset and things like that so again this is happening for you not to you it's really important to remember that but for some of you it's not going to be like that for others of you here Libra uh, the change in direction is probably something that you wanted right because you knew that you was going down a route that wasn't going to be permanent okay and this change so again a releasing of something taking a risk into another industry into another person or into another thing in your life is actually going to be very beneficial to you but this is free will the card that came up was the serendipity card which does talk about a very fortunate opportunity coming away Way this week but it also does talk about the fact that it's down to you whether you want to take it or see it for how it is because sometimes we can miss the good things around us because of the mindset that we're in so it's very important to be open uh, around this time and to not take things so seriously but to trust it's very important for this week okay um there could be a message coming in for you guys and approval of some kind also and also some sort of confirmation now this could be test results being you know great great results this could also be you know a message from someone that you wanted to hear from this could also be a business or a career opportunity for you guys it could even be a love interest uh, whatever this is here libra this is a very positive week for my air signs uh, when it comes down to achievements and uh, receiving in good news uh, one thing i do have to say is as a libra you may know there's always a balance here as much as there's good it's like what else though is there um just be careful of your boundaries this could be an amazing week for you if you are bathing in your successes if you're bathing in this good news that comes forward if you're just really soaking in the energies around you the only way this is going to be a negative week or you know a bit of a so-so week is if you allow the people around you to bring down your energy that's the only thing i can see that might you know come up for you guys because there are some people who aren't happy for you here libra i must admit there are some people around you who might not like seeing you happy or aren't taking your happiness in con into consideration when they're doing their own things or saying what they need to say. You know how you can be in a great mood and someone comes towards you and is just like, my day has been so crap da, 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 and it just drains the life out of you. Try to distance yourself this week. Um, this is really the spirit's message this week is to get you to understand that like this is actually a good week for you and they want you to embrace in that for as long as possible so to set those boundaries up uh, could be very important but for some of you this could actually be you know hater energy or someone literally trying to bring you down if that's the case again boundaries is needed uh, inner peace is also needed to understand that this person can't get to it unless you let them so important so difficult i must admit but it is possible um, to allow these these things and uh, understand what matters and what doesn't matter here uh, Libra I'm seeing ladders here for some of you um, you could be climbing a ladder this could actually be again promotion this could be going up a level of some kind or again this could be ascension like on a spiritual level but again a very good week I must say okay there's positive changes coming in and uh, very beneficial for you guys indeed so let's have a little look and see what's going on for you guys Oh, I love this. Definitely ascending. Now, Building Blocks card really does actually remind me of the Nine of Pentacles, but while she's working. You know, Nine of Pentacles, normally she's... Oh, wait, it's here. Normally she's in the garden embracing life. Um, this is kind of her when she's at work here. So a lot of you are working hard on a project. A lot of you are, you know, climbing the ladder again. You're, you're trying to build yourself up. 
Now, this week, we also have the cleaner up card. So there is a need to kind of remove certain things from the foundations that you feel already. Again, this could be what the change in the wind is about. You're having to step back to take a leap forward. Um, for others of you, there could be a little bit of stagnancy whilst you're just cleaning up uh, certain things in your surroundings. This could be literal cleaning. You could actually be, you know, getting rid of things that we've had hoarded for a while. This could also be energetic ties as well, you know, cleaning it up, cutting ties with people that you don't need in your life anymore, who maybe for some of you, Libra, who have already disappeared from your life. Um, it's so healthy to reflect in that way, to understand, okay, well, this person's never coming back. Even if they do, I don't, I shouldn't, do this to myself and hold on to things that are already gone or maybe treated you a certain way this is a week for you libra your independence um this is a week to be selfish actually i'm gonna say that with my chest here because i really do feel like this is a week to really understand what's right for you because if you built this is a very serious topic actually the building blocks card is if this is built wrong we're gonna end back at square one so you need to do what's right for you not listen to what other people want of you not listen to um you know so, like um what else can, yeah basically what other people want from you this is really about setting the boundaries setting the standards and going actually how i want my life to be in the future this is how i need to build it if other people are trying to put their blocks in there saying no libra do this instead or do it this way no any block here that doesn't deserve to be there needs to be swept off. It needs to go, okay? You need to tell people that this is my life. This is not for you to change, okay? This is not for you to dictate to. I appreciate the advice, but this is how I feel like I need to do it. Because Libra, we know that you need to live it to, to experience it. That's why um, you guys are very wise because you like to do things your way, okay? But the clean it up card again. You're getting rid of things that don't serve you anymore. Again, a very selfish week, which I think is quite good for you because it may have been a while, okay? Number two and a one, you're co-creating with spirit here when it comes down to who you are as a person. And again, one thing I will say, especially energetically, it's so important to clear out things in your surroundings that have negative energies you know, attached to it, whether it's like a really bad ex here got you a gift in the past and you still have it in your room or in your house, it's time to clear it out. One thing I will say, especially if they was a very negative person, is because that energy is still combined, combined, combined in that object. And it, you know, if it's in your surroundings and it's reminding you of a past and that brought a lot of dark times in your life, it needs to go. It does need to go because that is one thing every single day that is going to bug you and it's going to bring your energy down, you know? Um, the clean it up is also cleaning up our act too. This is about being a very open um, book to ourselves here and understanding, okay, what do we need to do this week to make ourselves a better person? So a lot of moving forward, a lot of changes going on this week, which I think is nice, but I feel like you're doing the work here, Libra, so I like it. Um, this is a very open and honest week also for a lot of you guys. So number three, uh, coming through with a two and a one, which represents alignment. So everything that you're doing now is benefiting you and your connection to spirit. We also have the number two and a number eight here. So again, another uh, number here representing co-creation. We also have it with the number eight here, which together is a 10. So endings, liking that, okay, moving forward, going up a level. But number eight also actually talks about, for me, like a karmic cycle. So um, maybe maybe ending a karmic cycle, but that wasn't the message that I wanted to come out. It was really about what we put out, we get back. So we're understanding that on a deeper level. Okay, this is my life for me then. So everything that I'm putting in, I'm gonna get back. So you're trusting yourself this week, which I like, so. Loving that. I'm going to see what's coming up for you guys when it comes down to the tarot. So we're moving forward. I like this. Very balanced, very self-assured. This is the emperor in his prime. So he's really taking the reins here and moving forward with his life the way that he wants it to, which is amazing. So a lot of you guys are stepping into that masculine energies, regardless of gender, which is allowing you to move away from situations that aren't good for you anymore and to create your own dream, and to chase your own dream here. As you can see, the chariot chases the star. So a balanced life, a life of maybe stardom for some of you Libras. I, I can see you out there dreaming big. Keep going. Um, this is about you taking action towards it. And again, no longer listening to other people. Again, at cleaning up the act, maybe someone's coming to town. <laughs> and maybe someone's coming over for some of you Libras uh, out there. But um, this is a really, really good card for 
you know, you've planned things and now it's the time to take action on it, which I like. Now, there are a lot of you, you're running away from a situation that did cause a lot of pain, a lot of agony and was very sneaky and was full of lies. Okay, so we're moving that from our life. And a lot of us, that seven of uh, swords can also be self-sabotaging energies of listening to others, you know, putting our dreams aside to carry out actions and dreams that other people will be happy to see from you because sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you libra you guys are known at times at times don't don't hate me for this for being like people pleasers now not in a bad way i mean it in the sense that you guys are very compassionate and caring and uh you know you're ruled by venus so you are literally all those lovely things sometimes we can be so so kind so compassionate we put our own needs aside and this is a, again a week to be selfish to understand what do you want to build what do you want to do it could even be with a person like maybe there's a lot of people around you that don't agree with your dreams or with your love interest and you're going to do it regardless because you're not letting these people tie you down you're not letting these people blind you and make you fail life and yeah what i have to say and i think i hope yeah not it <laughs> Right, for a lot of you guys, you're understanding that living a life for other people is just living a miserable life. So you're moving forward. Okay, anything else? Love this. Do. Okay, could actually be another relationship coming in for you guys, but it's down to you whether you want to take it. That could be what the opportunity is. Um, because we do have a lot of healing from the Three of Swords. So we have been hurt in the past. We have really been betrayed or again hurt deeply four of swords talks about healing from that and the ace of wands maybe this is time to put that kind of energy into a career into a creative project or again into a sexual relationship but it's down to you whether you want to do that the ace of wands doesn't tend to talk about you know strong commitments but it does talk about very flirtatious energy if we are speaking of romance but if we're speaking about creative projects you know what, especially for my writers out there, especially for people who do things to do with art or poetry, sometimes these moments, these crashes, these, these painful moments actually produce the best work because it's done with so much intensity and feeling that it's kind of led through the divine. So I'd use this to your advantage here. Also, speaking from experience, some of the worst, you know, moments of my life were the things that actually produced, again, like some of the poems that I've written that were like so intense, they came from moments that I, like, I needed a release from it. Like I needed through these painful moments to let it out creatively. They're some of the best poems I've ever written. Trust me, you guys will be impressed. But it's not coming. It's, it's not coming out because they're very personal. Um, but again, like if you are in some sort of creative arts, this is a really good time to um to do things like that because I think it might help you with releasing. But others of you, this is also about building businesses. Maybe heartache has led you to create something more amazing. And again, it's free moments like that. Even for me, again, like. Um, even in moments where there's a lot of heartache, sorry, I'm getting a really itchy, like, third eye, I swear. I have to, like, I don't want to itch because my makeup. Ah! It's a good thing, right? Um, some of you guys could be opening a third eye, too, through heartache, through pain. Again, this is a great opportunity to understand it in that perspective. Um, but even for me, like, in certain heartache, like, heartbreaking situations and a lot of painful situations was where I started things that ended up being amazing. So, um... Sometimes it's needed. Oh, right, anything else for my Librans this week? Libra, you've shown up in your reading. You're protecting your love here now. You really, really are. Now, you're also protecting your inner peace and also your inner emotions because the Queen of Swords likes to come across as someone who's very bitter. She actually has a lot of emotions. She just doesn't let anyone see her. You know, she likes to suffer in silence. This is not a time to suffer in silence though, by the way. I'm here to talk. Uh, I'm sure there's some people around you that are here to talk as well for some of you Librans. Um, this is a time to love yourself though. Um, can I just clarify this again, please? Okay. Two of Wands. Okay, well, someone can actually have their eye on you here, Libra. But again, you're keeping them at a distance. Could be someone who is at a distance from you, by the way, long distance. Or again, this could just be a future um, a future planet you're waiting to, to take on here. You're not ready to give your love away to someone until you've done something else to do with your future and moving forward in your life. Yeah, definitely so. 
I think a lot of you are understanding like you need to be happy first before you can bring happiness to other people and that's where the balance comes in oh my goodness yes I love this energy right we have Scorpio energy coming through here with the um, death card changes uh, the ace of swords is again your energy here about truth and clarity you're moving forward making changes it's bringing you a new beginning coming through one of truth one of honesty because you're not taking lies anymore you're not taking any negative energies anymore from people you're very much open to energies like yours which you're uplifting so again um we're no longer in that dark energy we're, we're letting it all go which i like so a fresh beginning for you guys Nine of Cups is about finding your own wish fulfillment here, finding personal peace, personal happiness, and then the Ten of Cups comes where we can actually celebrate this with other people here. And the Temperance card does talk about patience. So we are in need of patience before we can really understand what happiness is in a relationship, what happiness and love is with the people around you. I think you're understanding now better about personal happiness is just as important as happiness with others. And this is where we're balancing that. Okay, the temperance card is about a pit stop here. Having to balance our own emotions, understanding what we can give to people, which is gratefully an overflowing cup. But you have to, you know, feed into that cup first before you can give to others. And for a lot of you, you're thinking about this new beginning, this change first before you're ready to open up to somebody here. Because you, you feel like you're ready, but I think a lot of you are going, I have a lot of love to give to people, but... I am waiting until I've done something in my career life and, you know, physical life. Maybe you're wanting to move. Maybe you're wanting to travel. I want to do that first before I give this away. So you're choosing to spend some time and embracing your own energy and growing and learning from that. Then um, give it to someone else because you've actually withdrawn a lot from your own love in the past. Because, again, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. So you sometimes the Queen of Swords is so serious with things. You know, she's so giving to others that she kind of neglects her own self so it's really important that you're understanding this week that you're giving to yourself this week again selfish week which i think is so important to clear your head to clear your mind to understand that you're at a perfect stable level to then bring it in uh, bring someone else into the picture and give to them very important i'm just going to get one more message for you guys Okay, very much clear, especially with the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Definitely a new beginning. We're no longer holding on to things anymore. You know, waiting for someone to give us an, uh, an apology, an offer here. Uh, we're starting to see it in a different light. We're no longer also holding on to, I don't want to say immature, because sometimes this is quite an innocent card. It's like sometimes we are holding on to our emotions that are kind of still, you know, it, how can I explain this in a good way? The Page of Cups is sensitivities. You were very in love with someone in the past. I get it. But it's like someone didn't see it. Okay, this person was too consumed in what they was doing to even see that you actually did have this love for them. Okay, you did have an offer for them. Um, but for a lot of you, you're, you're letting go of this person apologizing because I don't think it's coming in. For others of you, it did come in. But again, you're not holding on to it anymore. It could be a water sign. Kai. <laughs> Kai. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And you're now releasing it, learning a lesson and choosing to move forward because you understand I don't have a choice. The death card is very adamant. It goes, we need to go. We need to go now for this new beginning, this new chapter to begin in our lives. And you're doing it. I like it. And this is where we're growing. I like it. Your future looks bright, by the way, two of wands. There's something that actually is going to give you a lot more freedom and a lot more happiness than where you currently are at. So I like it. Right. Advice, please. Ooh interesting <laughs> i always get comments saying like the noises i make <laughs> yeah i don't know why it just happens okay right so the bat spirit and as you may know um this is actually about rebirth and letting go okay so before emerging the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise in the darkness it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours the bat is a master of the subtle senses, so the underlying force, forces that come, that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. So no more refusing to let go, no more reminiscing. We're choosing to accept, adapt and adjust to the situation around us and understand that there's a lot more freedom ahead for you guys by being alone, by enjoying your own company, by filling your own cup up. 
And in that way, you, you increase your frequency and you're bringing in better people into your life when it comes down to love, when it comes down to career, okay? I like it. All right, my lovelies, so that is your reading for the week. I wish you all the best, Libra. I really, really do. I love you and I will see you guys next week.